similar to all of our other examples, why don't we first work with the power rule? It looks like I have y to the negative third times z to the third, all of that raised to the negative four power. And like we've done in every other example, we can distribute the negative four into each one of those powers. So we can rewrite that as y to the negative three times negative four power times z to the three times negative four power. And since negative three times negative four is positive 12, we end up getting y to the positive 12th power and three times negative four is gonna be negative 12, we'll get z to the negative 12th power. So on our next step, why don't we get rid of all of our negative powers? It looks like I have z to the negative 12th power on top and on the bottom I have z plus one raised to the negative two power. And using the negative exponent rule, I'm just gonna be able to move them up and down in order to make them positive. This allows me to bring z to the negative 12 power down to the denominator to make it z to the positive 12. And it also allows me to take z plus one raised to the negative two power from the denominator up to the numerator and make it positive. I'll get z plus one to the second power up top. And so once again, if I have negative powers, I just move them up and down to make them positive. So now it looks like we don't have any negative powers within our expression. But we do have, in the numerator, we have z plus one to the fifth times z plus one to the second power. They have matching bases. We have z plus one raised to powers all multiplied together, which uses the product rule. In other words, I can rewrite z plus one to the fifth times z plus one to the second as z plus one to the five plus two power which will give me z plus one to the seventh power. Similarly, I can rewrite z to the ninth times z to the twelfth in the denominator as z to the nine plus twelfth power, which is z to the twenty-one power. And so it looks like we no longer have products of the same base within our numerator or denominator. So our last step will be using the quotient rule. In other words, it looks like I have x to the fifth over x to the seventh power I have variables that have the same base divided by each other. And so since seven is larger than five, I can rewrite that as x to the seven minus five power in the denominator, which will be x squared. And I have y to the 12 over y to the one. 12 is larger than one, so I can rewrite that as y to the 12 minus one in the numerator, which will give me y to the 11th power. And so when we look at y to the 11th times z plus one to the seventh all over x squared times z to the 21, we don't have any negative powers. And each one of our variables or unique base is only raised to a power somewhere once. And so it looks like we have our final answer here.